developing tonight. Detectives hope this sketch will help identify the child whose partial remains were found in a Garfield Park lagoon. Forensic teams return to the water and the land today with a cadaver dog sniffing for clues in this case. Good afternoon. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Kate Sullivan. Tips are already coming in. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff is live at Garfield Park with more on this story tonight. Dana. Kate and Rob, Chicago police say they've had some promising phone calls. Unfortunately, though, they also say that cadaver dog here today did not pick up anything new. But they hope that sketch will be the push people need to really come forward. Old enough to have lots of teeth and hair and little twists, this is the face of the unidentified toddler whose remains were dumped in Garfield Park's lagoon. It's a rendering by a Cook County Sheriff's forensic artist using x-rays, photos, and an examination of the remains. It was just a freehand sketch, and once I had more uh, photographs uh, given to me, I enhanced the sketch. Which is now on flyers, again being handed out in this west side neighborhood. This is what the, the baby, baby looks like? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, excuse me. You want to give me a few? I might put them out in the neighborhood. It's getting people's attention. As we speak, we're probably close to, getting close to about 150 phone calls. When I get on the bus, I hear it. When I'm in the store, I hear it. So it is being discussed. Meanwhile, police continue to drain the lagoon five days after the two to three year old African American or biracial child's head, feet, and hands were discovered in hopes of finding other evidence. We do know that the dismemberment was post mortem. In other words, the child had been deceased when the event happened. So um, that's why I said we don't even know if we have a murder. They're not ruling anything out. I honestly believe what we're going to find is somebody who panicked and didn't know what to do uh, with a child. Superintendent McCarthy again says there are no piss missing persons reports fitting the description of that child in this case. They are hoping that DNA will provide perhaps a match to somebody in that toddler's family at the very least. Reporting live in Garfield Park, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Kate and Rob. Okay, Dana, thank you. Now